here we are sitting upright our body is made of trillions of cells when we think of cells when we think of the body its bones muscles organs skin and so on it may not be immediately apparent and we might be used to thinking of the body um, and its different parts from the medical perspective or something like that maybe just as a as an instrument of through which we are having experiences and live our lives but actually the body has deep deep wisdom and love because the physical body is one body in the continuum of our other bodies subtle bodies and the body of basic awareness so the physical body is not separate from our nature and definitely the physical body is not against enlightenment there are sometimes these views that the body is dirty or filthy or because you know we have sexual organs and sexual energy it would somehow make it non-spiritual not holy not divine not sacred but that is not this is not the way how tantra looks at the body yoga tantra I'm not talking about some like a modern sexual tantra stuff but I'm talking about talking from the perspective of traditional yoga tantra where the view of the physical body and our whole being including sexuality including emotions even negative emotions strong emotions are all good when we start discovering our basic nature you know we can use certain locations in relation to the three basic characteristics of the natural state selfless clarity soft aliveness groundedness relating to head heart and gut in the beginning we might use these locations head heart and gut to discover and rediscover a basic state But the more you go advance through bumi openings bumi perfections the less these locations matter because when we have bumi centers bumi chakras open and open more and open more it means that um, in our subtle body the experience of basic state is already established so in the beginning we might use for example you know we need to rel relax the eyes thoroughly relax the area of the mouth and jaws so that we can discover how this 
especially the first aspect, knowing aspect of awareness from the head, how it is, how it can be discovered. Or similarly, when we do bodhicitta prayers, pray, pray for the benefit and welfare of all beings, we might feel energy in the heart, loving, compassionate energy in the heart. And then if we uh, meditate in an embodied way, it connects with the gut. So this is perfectly fine as a beginner. But like I said, little by little, as we have Bumi events, awakening experiences, shifts, then little by little the whole being, the whole body, the whole subtle body becomes aligns with the basic state. As the self-based habits, habit patterns are cleared out. As the self-centered habitual patterns uh, loosen and are let go from nadis and chakras. We have lots of recordings in YouTube, many workshops about this over the years. We have tens of hours of master classes of Tantra, workshops available for our Sangha members. Make use of that knowledge. Make use of those techniques, study those techniques, study those materials that are made available to you. So I started by saying that our body uh, contains, is made of trillions of cells. Physical body. So here's how the subtle body is made. When we talk about the subtle body made of bumis, meaning channels and centers, nadis and chakras, there are hundreds of thousands of these channels in the space inside the body and in the space in the aura. Just like you've seen in uh, sacred art from Tibet, from India, and even in Christian art. Sometimes Jesus and saints are shown, you know, that you can actually see how channels are painted in Christian art sometimes. So we also have countless, many, many, several hundred thousand such nadis that make up the aura, makes up the aura. We have many chakras, such as the ones that the 18 we use around the head and torso. torso. Of course, also the seven centers in each of the four limbs. And then there are the Bhumi pillars, the so-called Bhumi pillars. The long five, six meter pillar 
below the physical body as well as the upper part of that pillar above the body. Let the whole pillar connect with your physical body. The pillar below, the pillar above. So seven big energy centers, chakras below the pelvic floor, reaching five, six meters down. Let that whole pillar light up and connect with the aura, connect with the nadis and chakras in the space inside the body. Feel that connection. Soak in that connection. There are these pure areas in the subtle body, inside the physical body. But as those of you, if you have practiced Amrita Mandala teachings for even for few months, you know that there is a reason why we use these Bhumi pillars. And the main reason is, well, it is part of our subtle body, but when we connect with the Mahasiddha Bhumis, Bhumis 11, 10, 12, 11, uh, 12 13, there's a lot of spiritual power, power of purity, power of clarity, power of love in there, stored, just waiting to be connected and tapped like a reservoir waiting to be used. So it is possible to realize Buddha nature just by cultivating the centers within the body space. But anybody who's done our practices for a short time knows what an immense power there is, immense benefit there is in connecting with the Mahasiddha Bhumis below and above. It's like a whole different gear. Stronger experience. And like I said, it is this strong, pure experience that we need. Because through that energy, through these connections, made in the subtle body, comes recognition of our basic nature. We are tantrics, we are working with energetic things, but the purpose is always seeing our Buddha nature, seeing our perfect nature, accessing it, recognizing it, embodying it, As the Bhumi pillar below the body connects <coughs> with the aura, connects with the Nadi chakra system inside the physical body, 
You might feel some sensations in the hands, in the feet, in lower legs, in thighs, pelvic floor, tailbone. Just observe, just be aware of those sensations. As our system gets uh, more and more clear, more and more purified, then we will feel that we don't only feel that connection in the hands and feet and pelvic floor area, but that it actually raises up in the body, into the heart, to the head, and connects with the pillar above the body. So let that connection happen. Same seven centers relating to the seven Bhumis. Number seven, just about 15 centimeters above the crown. 7th Bhumi, then 8, 9, 10, within about 3-4 meters above the crown, and then 11, 12 and 13, those Buddha nature Bhumis, Mahasiddha Bhumis, centers, chakras that Never get dirty, but always remain pure at about five, six meter height. So feel into the space above the head and just welcome, like welcoming the shower of a soft rain. I mentioned Christian art and I'm sure every one of us have gone to churches and Christian temples and there you can often see how Christian saints, even Jesus, is depicted as you know gazing upwards and having their hands like as if receiving the downfall of a rain. This is the reason. The heaven is inside us. The heaven is not in the sky. Feel that heaven Pure energy, pure. Wash as a way dirt in our system. So surrender to it. Here it is good to take a reminder, what I spoke of, about yesterday, about sincerity and honesty. And that we need to put our emotions 
bring our emotional side out. If we only do these techniques like purely technically, like engineers, then our emotional side, which is a big part of us, won't be included. So put love into it. Put the love inside your heart into it. Put the care, compassion inside your heart into it. And the connection will definitely be strong. Then it will transform. And it's an interesting thing, you know, when we open emotionally like that, we are actually uh, revealing our basic nature. So what happens is that we connect through the Mahasiddha Bhumis from pillar below or above or both, as well as with the heart as well as with the head, as well as with the gut, with the whole system. Then, when we have um, hooked our subtle body into the main sources of powerful blessings, then we just soak, then we marinate. Don't sleep, remain aware, aware of sensations, aware of energetical events, remain in internal enjoyment. Profoundly satisfying, isn't it?
So in our subtle body, when we connect Bumi pillars like this, a lot of activity and strong connections are made in our subtle body. But also because there is so much love, so much energy, that magnetic energy of love, it affects the meridian system that affects the physical body. So it feels very physical. As if it covers the charge, the energy, covers the whole physical body. And it feels like that because the meridian system gets covered. The meridian system is inside and covers the physical body in the form, in the shape of the physical body. As you are feeling still the charge from the Mahasiddha Bhumis above and below, start breathing deeply, slowly. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And continue like that, pumping slowly with the breath and see how it affects
a little bit more And then after exhalation, let breathing return back to normal. And feel your body. How do you feel like physically? emotionally, energetically, what's your mood, how's your state of mind, your palms together stretch So that's how you do it, yes. right? When I learned about, back in the day when I learned about the pillar, uh, I would sit there for four hours, soaking. You don't need to do four hours, but do half an hour, do an hour a day make use of the practices let's take a break for one hour and 20 minutes after that uh, we will have the refuge refuge ceremony so those of you who are taking refuge i forgot to say yesterday for you to get fresh flowers but if you have some flowers already in the house or if you happen to live right next to a flower shop get some or bring those flowers that you already have at home have it with you and have a small plate clean plate and scissors because you're gonna cut a little bit of your hair uh, during the ceremony flowers if you can small plate scissors okay see you in hour and 20 thank you